relating to the Hawaii Employer Union Health Benefits Trust Fund. Representative Marumoto. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I have a conflict. I am a recipient of the Part B reimbursements. No conflict. I'd like to speak on this bill with reservations. Please proceed with reservations. Uh, I think I have uh, some institutional memory, and you could uh, probably correct me if I'm wrong, but it seemed to me that there was some sort of trade-off when the state decided to um, encourage the retirees to go on to Medi Medicare when um, uh, they retired. I think the state figured they could save money this way because uh, uh, and offer reimbursements to the retirees. It would be cheaper than purchasing uh, health benefits for uh, the employee and uh, maybe a spouse also. Uh, if things have changed, you know, I'd like to be corrected. But uh, apparently there was testimony by the HGEA that said um, this bill could actually cause the EUTF to pay more in premiums. Uh, it appears that fewer retirees will obtain Medicare because then they have to pay the premiums. While the state may believe it is saving by declining to pay reimbursements, it is actually requiring a, um, retirees to pay the, uh, the premium, um, a higher premium, because under HMSA 9010 PPO plan, a higher overall premium is charged for non-Medicare retirees. Uh, we need some more education on this particular bill. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any further discussion, Representative Takai? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise in opposition. Please proceed in opposition. Thank you. First, I'd like to uh, incorporate the words of the previous speaker as if they were my own. So ordered. And, and validate what she said. Absolutely, she is tr uh, correct. Years ago, we used to require our employees to pay for a portion of their insurance, medical insurance, with the commitment and promise that once they retire, we would cover them 100%. Now, as medical costs have increased, we, we cut a deal with them and said that, you know, the federal government will pay for your medical insurance if you go into Medicare, and we will pay for that premium. We did it with the understanding and obligation that we would pay for that federal Medicare premium. Now everything's all changed, and what I don't understand is state employees and county employees are getting bit on both sides. We now require a 50-50 match while working, and then we extended out the requirement to get 100% coverage upon retirement, and now we're saying that we're going to eliminate the Part B Medicare premium refund to the retirees. I say we take a look at the entire process and figure out once and for all whether we're gonna cover our employees just like we mandate the private sector. In other words, maybe while working, all our medical should be free because after we retire, we're just like the private sector, we're on our own. Or we cover our employees, we don't cover our employees while working, we do what we do now with the commitment that after we retire, we cover them. But we can't not cover them while working and then not cover them after they retire. It's just nonsensical. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you very much.